desire of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell. Yea, I will sing 
praises unto the Lord. Hear, O oh Lord, when I cry. When I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I see. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of a shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy people. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and heard my cry. He brought me also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my bones. And he put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall sin and fear and trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man that made the Lord his trust.
And whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives me. So, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we invoke your presence in this space right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, we come with humble hearts, oh God, but God, we come bold before your throne. God, you say that we can come bold in the name of Jesus. So, God, we come today on behalf of this family, God. God, we lift them up in the name of Jesus. God, we release the peace of God over their mindsets today in the name of Jesus. Send a refreshing God in the room today, God. God, with the heaviness, God, you are heavy, no better. God, you are the heavy, no care, God. God, we ask right now, God, move upon the hearts. Let the winds of your spirit, God, blow in this place today, God. We lift them up, oh God, unto you today. Everyone that is mourning, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for this day. That even in this, God, that you still are God. God, in this place, show yourself mighty unto them, oh God. Be our strength today, God. God, in every place of weakness, God, you declare in the name of Jesus that you are strength, oh God. God, let us so even be saved, God, even in this, oh God. God, this one is for you, oh God. God, do it now, oh God, that only you can do in the name of Jesus. God, your word declares that earth has no sorrow. That heaven can't heal today, God. But God, somewhere in the midst today, God, they feel, oh God, that this one is for you, God. Do unto them, oh God. God, the impossible that they feel. Nothing's impossible, God. With you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Regulate the minds today, God, in the name of Jesus. God, I rebuke the devourer now, God, in the name of Satan. Every torment and spirit, I bind you now in the name of Jesus. That you're ever present because you said you'll never leave God for seconds. God, you're the rock in the weary land today, God. God, you're able to do anything but faith. God, in the midnight hour, God, you must be the hero, God. When there is no word, oh God, but peace, your word declares that you kept them to, oh God. God, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. God, help them by and by, oh God, to understand, oh God, because they're not. God, that they're resting in your presence, God. No more weeping, oh God. No more pain, oh God. No more sorrow, oh God. So God, move in this place today in the name of Jesus. Move in this place today, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we speak your word today, God. It cannot and will not return back void, oh God. God, we lift them up to you today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, joy God, let them find you, oh God, in the midst of this place, oh God, that they'll find peace in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for being God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. God, now show yourself mighty. Reveal, oh God. Do what you do, oh God. Do what you do, oh God. God, we call the people together today. So lift them up, oh God. Lift up the arms, oh God. Cause love to abound, oh God, in this place, oh God. Father, we give you glory in the name of Jesus. So God, have your way in this place today. Let something be said, God, that we're drawn closer to you, oh God. The relationship will be built, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in this day for being present, oh God, and evermore, oh God. So God, walk with them. Talk with them, oh God, as they lean upon you, oh God. And not to their own understanding, oh God. God, we thank you today. Be God, the Alpha the the beginning and end of all things. God, you are the sovereign God. So God, show yourself up in this room today. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. In Jesus' name. 
Oh, my. 
So remember, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, giving heed that we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that which he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Right. Finally, my brother, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things be of a good report, yes. if there be any virtue, yes. if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard, yes. and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Yes. With deep sympathy, pastors, Gerard and Lavita Rice Barnes, Secretary Carolyn Smith, Empowerment of Grace, and Shadow African Methodist Church. From Dunbar Elementary School to the family of Sabrina Dunnigan, there is an angel at the end of the road, uh -huh. and we must go through that gate. Yes. And there in life we cannot see, but our Father claims his own. Beyond the gate your loved one finds happiness and rest. And there is comfort in the thought that a loving God knows best. Right. It is with deepest sympathy that we, the Paul Lawrence Dunbar Elementary School, extend our sincere sympathy to Miss Sabrina Dunnigan in the loss of her loved children. Right. Deontay Davis Jr., Nivea Dunnigan, Heaven Dunnigan, Jabari Johnson, and Loyal Dunnigan. Oh, yeah. We pray that you will find consolation in the words of Jesus who says, cast all your cares on him, for he cares for you. And remember that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. We encourage you to lift up your eyes unto the hill, from whence come your help, knowing that all your help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He is the one who is able to wipe away your tears, and heal your broken heart. May God forever bless, keep, and strengthen you. Humbly submitted, Paul Lord Stemper Elementary School, Miss Tiffany Brown Principal, Miss Kimberly Allen, Assistant Principal. Hi, Hi Sabrina. This is Tierra B. I'm here to see you and your beautiful babies. I just want to say I'm sorry for your loss, honey, and that I love you. To the Dunnigan family from the East St. Louis Central Committee, I will give all of these to the family. From the village of Brooklyn, to the family of the children, God's little angel. A little angel came to earth one day. He gave only love and then he went away. Don't ever forget the love he has brought. His happy smile, the lessons he taught. It's hard losing someone who gives you only joy, then goes back to heaven to his father above. Remember him always and know in your heart you'll be with him one day. But for now, share the love and continue to say, Thank God for you, my angel, who has now gone away. God bless you, family.
what we would have done, we visualize that future that we worked for, that we planned for, that we hoped for. All these things bring us pain. Pain us people. And none of these things is important. In Philippians 4:8, we're told to fix our thoughts on what is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, worthy of praise. At Dunbar School, it's our mission to create an environment where our children feel treasured. We have to focus on how we were able to enhance the life of the children both in person and in the virtual setting. We have to remember how Deontay, Heaven, and Nevaeh were all able to feel special individually and know they were cared for at a place called Dumbo. And we want to thank you so much for allowing us to be in a part of that village to make their lives so special. No one knows your struggle right now. We can only pray that one day, the memory of the life that they live and the goodness in their hearts will bring some comfort to you. It might not be today, and it might not be tomorrow, but you will get that. Amen. to announce that would you please for the men that have their hats on would you please in, in reverence to this place and wear your hats I also want to ask you would you pull your mask up over your nose please? can we do that together amen, amen. we one big family let's give each other a hand um, at this point um, I'm going to begin to take a look at some some uh, liberties as we do a little bit of changing, but we won't add more time, right. I promise you. Um, at this point, we want to have a um, selection from uh, Cedric Shannon Reeves. Uh, after that time, we will do uh, Reflections of Light silently, and then from that moment, we will uh, change a tactic with our program. Say right. right now. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord again. Can I ask a question? Does anybody, do I have any believers, any saved folk in the room? I know the family may be a little heavy right now, but everybody that came to be a strength to the family, will you do me a favor? I want you to jump up on your feet real quick and just release praise in this atmosphere. Come on, come on. Get all those symbols. Help me out, drum. I want everything. Make a joyful noise. Unto the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. Is there something for us? I've had some good days. I've had some years to cry. I've had some weary days. And Sometimes the clouds hang low. And have I got a witness that says sometimes that I can hardly see the road? I ask the question, Lord, why? Thank 
see. So even when I don't understand what you're doing, God, I'm still learning every day to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I won't complain. Because here's the truth of the matter.
Sheila Donegan are going to be the two thousand representatives to do that, and and then we will move forward from there. Amen. Amen. It is an honor to stand here before God to share. 
Jeff is weird, which you are. Um, I want to encourage the family that they are with God today. However, I'm going to have some backup with me. So I got some scriptures. Matthew 19 and 14. But Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. Deuteronomy 1 and 39. Moreover, your little ones, which you said, should be praying, and your children, which in the day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in thither, and unto them will I give it all. They shall possess it. Psalm 127 and 3. Children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the work womb is his reward. Matthew 18 and 10. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. Luke 2, 41 and, 2, and 42. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to custom. The Jewish religion or custom has a uh, thing where between the, between the day they were born until 11 years old, they're not counted for their sins. Amen. Now we all were born into sin, but they didn't have that. So between the ages of zero to eleven, we we don't have the knowledge of good and evil. So God give us a grace period. It's called uh, because considered a training period. That's why I come. He says, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they become old, they should not go straight. God bless.
and that you're not alone. I want you to know that we all know, your whole entire family know, that you was a great mom and that you loved those children. But most of all, the good Lord know. He knew that you loved those children. That's why he gave them to you. And they're home with him. Again, with him. I don't know how long it's going to take for things to normalize in, in your life. How long the pain will last. But I want you to know, I'll always be praying for you. I'll always be praying for your strength. And I'll always be that TT that you can lean on. I love you, baby girl. Amen. Amen. Now, we continue to sort of restructure. We're going to now, in this order, the praise dance tribute from the Triple Diamond dancers will come next. When they're done, we're going to hear from, we're going to hear remarks. We have, and they're going to just come right up, Pastor, from this order. Pastor Mark Ratliff, Pastor Kendall Granger, Pastor April Bell, Minister Doug Hollis, Pastor Theodore Terry, and then, of course, our illustrious Mayor Easter, who followed up. In that order, I'm going to ask you to hold your remarks for two to three minutes. In respect for the family. Same man for everybody that will.
I would like to express my heartfelt sympathy to the family on behalf of the East St. Louis. I know there's mourning in lives that have moved us on an extremely difficult to bear. Even though I've never had the pleasure of meeting these children, All right. I know that they were a crucial part of this community. It shows. We will like to make sure that they're not forgotten. And our prayer as a community is that you remember the love that you had for them. Their parents, their family, they cherish the friends they made and the hearts of the strangers they impacted. We understand that there is no words that can ease these pains of this loss. However, we want to offer more than words. The community of East St. Louis and the city of East St. Louis, we stand with you. We grieve with you. We are committed to walking alongside of you for always. At this hour of difficulty, I pray that the family and friends of these beautiful children find peace reflecting on the moments you share with them. Find that peace. Find that peace. I know each of one of you will mourn independently, but I hope that you rely on another thing to get you through these days, these hands. Yeah. During your quiet moments when you're alone, I hope this poem will offer you a moment of peace, of healing, because it has given me, that it has given me. Dear Lord, if flowers bloom in heaven, pick them all for me. Give them to my babies and press them, place them at their feet. If flowers bloom in heaven, send a breeze for me. That reminds me of the memories we share. If the flowers bloom in heaven, shine the sunlight through their smiles and let them know that I won't stop planting the flowers, that they remind me of them. If flowers bloom in heaven, help me water them for me. Remind them every day that I'm here too, watching the flowers that they bloom in heaven. Well, well, well. There's nothing more that God cannot, there's nothing that God cannot heal. Those that love, we simply don't go away. They don't, they walk beside us, they guide us and change us. Please reach out to me, reach out to me, if there's anything that I can do. And I just want to say, on behalf of the East St. Louis Police Department, all right. And Fire Chief McCullen, who was on the scene, we're praying for you as well. Amen. And I need you to pray for them as well. Amen. We stand with you as a community, and we are one. We are the city of champions. All right. We are the city of champions. Right. And champions always find a way to win. Right. Amen. To the dignitaries, God bless you. All right. Everyone in respectful places, amen. Now that we got our little delivery out, out the way, yes, sir. Yes. to this great family, yeah. to this woman of God, to this man of God, and to the, the, the aunts, the uncles, and to the entire family. Well, well, well. Amen. I just want to come and to let you know that I have been praying for you. Have not stopped praying for you. Intercede for you. Yes. Sir. Because I believe that we are a family. Right. And I don't just believe that we are a family, that when tragedy strikes and when tragedy hits, we are family. We come together. One thing about me, Pastor April, I'm going to ride for my city. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little hood. I'm a pastor, but I got a little hood in me. I'm going to ride for my city. And outside of this suit and outside of this jacket, I don't mind getting dirty for the city. I don't mind getting dirty for the people. To let y'all know I love you. I'm not just saying this because it sounds good and because it looks good to be behind this sacred desk. It's because it comes from my heart. 
Now listen, I was asking God, I said, God, give me something. I, I need a word. Come on. Help me to help. Come on, God. This daughter. Yeah. Your beloved. Give me something that will help her. Because I just got off the road and I came straight here. And I say, God, I, I, I was weeping because I'm dropping my daughter off at college. I'm leaving. Uh -huh. And my baby, I'm leaving her behind. And I say, but God, uh -huh. here's the next task. I have to go and stand here and talk. I say, God, give me something that will move not only the heart of the mother and the heart of the fathers, God, but, but move this entire setting. God, give me a word. I said, God, give me a word. And the Lord began to speak to me as we drove up 57 coming back from Chicago. The Lord began to say, he said, hey, bro, those babies have had a seat at the table. I said, God, what are you talking about? He said, they have made it to the table. He said, those babies, they have made it to the table. He said, they are at the table dining real sumptuously. The Bible declares in the message version of the Bible, they're dining in front of a six-course meal with the five. Now, I used to have a problem, Pastor, because they would ask me to come up and we would, we would quote this scripture and we would quote it so profoundly and so prolifically to be absent from the body to be, is to be present with the Lord. And I said, God, is that really true? But God said, April, you ain't got to wear it today to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. He said, you ain't got to worry about them, but they are at the table. They have made it to the table at home. But God's going to heal you, daughter. God's going to heal you. He's going to heal you. He's going to comfort you. And he's going to hashtag restore you back to where you belong. I don't care what they say. God said, he's going to restore you back to where you belong. Now this is what God said. He said, hey, for now I want you to leave something for the congregation. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. I had to text my mentor. I said, you told me when you, you come before the dignitaries, you act dignified. But it's something about the anointing when it shifts in the atmosphere. Yeah.
Praise the Lord, everybody. It's kind of hard to come behind the table. My God. Hey, listen. They already made all the attributes to all to my friend, Mary Easton, my buddy, chief, amen, fire chief, and to all these clergies, Pastor Radcliffe, and to the woman that's going to bring the words. Listen. Me being a basketball coach and a soccer coach and a baseball coach and coaching. And I was just like Pastor Bell. Ask God, what can I say? And as I began to ride and think about sports and, and realized that I had a basketball game and then forgot all about it. I thought about the five. Watch out now. Yeah, you know, in a basketball game, you have to have five players on the court. Talk back to me, somebody. And when you got those five players on the court, you got to have a point going. You got to have a shooting going. You got to have a two forwards. Then you got to have a center. And when I realized the main thing, what folks understand about the game, the point guard makes all the decisions come on somebody. But if you got a good center, talk back to me somebody. I'm going somewhere with this. If you got a good center, then you can dominate the game. So all of y'all sitting here today, y'all didn't come here just because of these babies. These babies just made it to the championship. And when they made it over to the championship, they was wondering how was they going to win because they didn't have a sub. You know, once you get in foul trouble, you need a sub, substitution. And then when somebody foul out, you need somebody to sub for that person. And I can imagine my sanctified mind. When one of them fired out, God say, I'm standing in the midst, talk back to me, somebody. I'll play whatever position you want me to play. So we didn't come out. I'm, I'm about to go because I'm, I'm just a crazy, sanctified preacher. And I feel a dance in my spirit. Because you know when you win, when you win a championship game, you can have it. And you celebrate. And then sometimes when you celebrate, you just run all over the place. And I'm about to take off running. But I came to leave with the family as I go to my seat. Because I only need a minute and 30 seconds. I see a 40 and 31 said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount so baby in the morning Sabrina you're going to need some strings when the phone call stop when everybody go their separate ways and you're by yourself you're going to need somebody to call on you can't call on Mama Linda you can't call on TT you can't call on boyfriend you can't call on Journey through life. 
pondering in search of answers, searching for answers to the unexplainable. The absence of reason might leave us with a void. So many unknowns, so many what ifs. But I want you to know that we, the members of the clergy, the city officials, and others, we are here with you. And this is not a journey that you have to take alone. As a warrior of the faith, I want you to know that hope is alive and active in our hearts, minds, and souls. A stable that we must cling to daily with faith. Hebrews chapter 11, starting at verse 1, begins with, uh, reminds us that faith is the assurances of things hoped for, the convictions of things not seen. Hope, hope gives us the endurance and confidence we need to persevere with the necessary strength and courage to push forward with boldness. Hope does not leave us idling or drifting, is innate and life-sustaining. A directive from God, our source, which allows us to evolve beyond our current capacity. To have hope is to have faith, and to have faith is to have hope. God bless you, and God keep you. speakers for an amazing job. And now we're about to prepare for the conclusion of matter for today. Um, after, after the Brother Reeves comes back and sings for us uh, another time, the next voice you hear will be that of Pastor Larita Rice Barnes, Pastor of Empowerment of Grace Church, founder of Global Impact Leadership Alliance, founder of Metro East Organizing Collaborative, and co-packed with me in Indianapolis at New Stevens Fellowship Church. And we are so grateful to have her. So after you hear the voice of this amazing soloist, we'll then be in the hands of our eulogist, Pastor Rice Barnes. All right. Jesus. I'll tell you a story really quick. God sent his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love. Heal and forgive. He bled and died. Glory to God. To buy my pardon and empty grave. Come on, help me, drummer. Is that proof my Savior lives? And because he Tomorrow, glory to God. Have I got just one witness on this side? Because he lives. What am I waiting the back like that? Oh, fear is gone. Because I.
we get to this part of the service, we give God praise. Because as you have heard it spoken earlier, the Bible has told us and instructed us in all things, in the good things, in all things, in the bad things, in all things, in sorrow, in all things, in sadness, in all things that we will give God thanks. <laughs> Glory to God. As we've heard to all of the clergy, the fivefold uh, ministry that's in the house and to the dignitaries that are here and to all of those that have participated to Serenity, to the family, uh, uh, extended family that's here of the community, to the friends and to this beloved family that's here on today. Will you all celebrate them? Come on, show them some love. You can do better than that. Show some love. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Because as we have been spending time together over this past week or so, I've watched Mama, Miss Linda, to Sabrina, to Lamario, to Deontay, to Miss Jackie, to uh, all of the aunts, to Sheila D, Sheila B, Melody, who I've met, to Jamila, those are just some of the names of people that I've encountered, to the grandparents, to the cousins. God bless you. I've watched them over the past week or so gather strength from the love of the community, the love of the community that have come together to stand as one. Somebody say one. one. That have come together to stand as one. Something happens when we operate in the spirit of unity. The Bible says that wherever the spirit of unity is or the spirit of liberty is that God commands a blessing. And wherever there is the spirit of liberty, there is freedom. Come on now. And wherever there is the spirit of unity, God commands a blessing. I think I got some praying people in the house. You've heard from clergy and many people who are standing with you, Deontay, and to the Mario, and to Sabrina, that have come to be with you in this moment. And as you have heard even earlier today, um, was likewise my words to God. What is it that you want me to say? What is it that you would want me to speak to the family? How do we begin to wrap our minds around such a situation to be able to process it? Our natural minds cannot even begin to perceive what we are here for today. One of the things that I realized that as a mother and as we spent time yesterday, Sabrina, and being with you and watching you and, and seeing all of the amazing pictures of you with the babies and the smiles and all of the things that I've heard of your love and support and even God strategically allowed me to be at Dunbar just this past week, not even realizing that that was the school that the babies were at, but how he brought everything together for this moment. How I learned about them being on honor roll and everything that you put on the inside of them. And one of the things that came to me even as I was sitting down is that the Bible has declared in the book of Ecclesiastes, there is a time and a season for all things. Oh yes. There's a time, the Bible says, for us to plant. There's a time for us to pluck up. There's a time for us to build. There's a time for us to tear down. I think I got some praying people up in the house on today. Glory to God. There's a time to be born. Come on now. And there's a time to die. One of the things is that none of us know the day or the hour that the Son of Man is coming. None of us know the day or the hour that the Lord is going to call our number. But look at somebody and say, you gotta be ready. Or oh, look at somebody else that you didn't look at and tell them, you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready whenever God calls your number. I know some of y'all ain't saw me in this side. See, like Pastor April said, I like to
like to get down right and dirty. I'm a pastor. I put on my stilettos and all of that. But I like being in the trenches right in the gutter of the community because Jesus said it like this. I came to seek and to save those that are lost. He wants to touch us. See, if we are confined inside of the four walls of the edifice where it's all beautiful, we're going to miss something. Oh, somebody better talk to me up in here. So some of you all, many of you all, but you never saw me beside, behind this side of the desk. But let me tell you something. Whatever God has called you to do, look at somebody and said, you better do it. See, for me, it doesn't matter because dignitaries are in the house. It doesn't matter if the president of the U.S. is in the house or the parliament members of foreign countries are in the house because when God calls our numbers, we got to stand before him. Somebody better talk to me up in here. Glory to God, there is nobody else that we're going to be able to answer to. Not your pastor, your bishop, your archbishop, your chief apostle, your teacher, Dignitaries, you know, whatever. Sabrina Lamario Deont, parents, children. What shall we say to these things? As a mother that has a child and experienced deep pain from the child, what do you do when you get to this point? Oh God. See, because one of the things is the reality of what's happening here. The reality of the moment where we are. And as it was said even earlier that when all the calls stopped and all of that and, and the time passed and all those things, one of the things that I understand is that late in the midnight hour. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know the song. They sing it like this. God is going to turn it around. He said that if you call on me, I will answer you. What am I saying? That even as the babies have slipped away to be with the mess, when your mind can't even conceive what has happened, when you get up to want to go to make breakfast and pull out clothes and thinking about school and, and I got to get them ready and all those things because it's a reality, Deontay, and then you realize something drastic has happened. My life has changed. The things that I used to have to do. I'm no longer finding myself having to do those things any longer. I need some praying people up in here. Today, if I was going to tag the message and, and I wrestled, I talked it over with my husband, I had all kind of titles, you know, wrote down, and you know, you talk about uh, your, 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 my main topic and your subtopic and topic A and topic B and all of that. But one of the things that the Lord downloaded into my spirit, somebody shout, radical love. Radical love. Uh huh. Said radical love. Radical love. Radical love in this moment is going to cause for what? Radical love. I need some people to talk back to me. Ah, radical love. In times like these, we need a savior. In times like these, we need the Lord. As I was preparing and saying, God, what do you want me to say? How? What word do I talk about the peace of God? Somebody say the peace of God. In Colossians, the third chapter, the 15th verse in the King James Version, it says, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. The Amplified Bible, I like the Amplified. This is the classic edition of the Amplified. And it says this, and let the peace, soul harmony, which comes from Christ. Let it rule. Let it act as umpire, 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 continually umpire, a person appointed to rule on place. Now, Minister Doug laid it out for 
for us earlier because he talked about the five people on, you know, the court. Uh -uh. I know the men know what I'm talking about. You know, I ain't played basketball since junior high school, so, you know, I just, I, I don't remember a lot of stuff because I didn't got old, and, you know. But the umpire, let the umpire rule. In your hearts, decide and suddenly, with finality, all the questions, Sabrina, Lamario, Deontay, all of the Christ questions, Grandma, Grandpa, aunties, all of the questions that arise in your mind. Ah, let the peace of God, let it act as umpire, settling the finality of all the questions. Somebody say all the questions. All the questions, all the questions that arise in your mind in that peaceful state. To which, as members of Christ, one body, you are also called to live and be thankful and appreciative. I pondered on whether or not I would talk about love. In moments like these, we are uh, struggling to get to a place, Mayor, to find peace and to find comfort and, 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 and turn into things sometimes that's not even uh, fulfilling for us. It's just feeling good to us in the moment. But when we get done with those things, we also understand that we still need a set. We still need some peace that passes all understanding. For God so loved the world. Oh, yes he did. Yes he did. That he gave his only begotten son. Only. Whenever I think of only, your only child, only, that means all. Abraham comes to mind. Watch out. Abraham, which was called to sacrifice his child. Sabrina, what were you preparing the babies for? Mother, father, grandma. As the peace of God that rests, ruled, and abided within, preparing for the master, they said, suffer not the little children. Didn't they say that earlier? Mm -hmm. Love that's deeply rooted, love that covers, and above all things, love. As one of the aunts were speaking and saying, God, what are you trying to say to us in this moment? The Bible says that God used the foolish to confound the wise. Amen. Things that are beyond our understanding that we may not understand here, but they say that you understand it better. What? Come on now. The laughter of the children, the smiles, the, the beauty, Everything that you get to hold on in your hearts. When your minds are overworked, Jesus, the Prince of Peace, is your medicine. It's going to take radical love. Radical love of the community that's been here over the past week. Radical love that brought you into the sanctuary. Radical love beyond the sanctuary. It can't stop here. It can't stop here. Radical love, as uh, Sheila called out earlier, for the family members to stand with one another. Amen. After you've done all you can, stand. I said I watched the family light up from the love. There is no words that we can speak out of our mouths right now yes. to reach to the core. Only a living God. Only a living God can meet us and be right here with what you need. Where do we go from here? I tell you about a man named Jesus. You all know. Some of you all know. Some of you all to get to know. That in the midnight hour, when it's overwhelming, 
Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. In the midnight hour when you don't know what's going to be next, somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. In the midnight hour when there's no one else to call, somebody shout, shout Jesus. Jesus. Will be there with you. Hallelujah. Right in that place. So Father, we say thank you. Because your word told us to say thank you. We thank you, oh God, for the time that you allow to bring you. As the power of God continued to surround you. As the power of God continued to overshadow you. As the power of God continued to be present with you. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Radical love. Radical love. Radical love. Love that covers your minds and your hearts. And cover your spirits. So God, we give you praise and glory and honor. We thank you, God, for your word and for the anointing and for your power. Thank you, God, for your spirit and thank you for the Holy Ghost. Because that's what it's going to take to keep us, to keep you wow, wow, wow. in this moment. Wow. When the lights go down, radical love that lifts you up when your knees feel weak. Radical love that gives you strength in the midst of your sight. Radical love that calls your mind to be able to shift, to be able to say, God, show me. Show me what it is that you have for me right now. Radical love that rises us up when we want to fall down. Oh yeah, radical love. Radical love. The love that says when we are seeing our single mothers and fathers that we wrap our arms around them as a community. Radical love. Being proactive and not just responsive. But somebody shout what? Radical love. That's what we need in this moment. That's what we need in this moment. The love that reaches way down to the bottom. Mama, Mama Linda, Grandma Linda, that radical love that you've spread across the family to stand, to walk in joy, to walk in strength as you've groomed up your children, that radical love, aunties, that radical love, that beyond this place, the community will be present. Amen? Amen. 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 Give the Lord some praise. For this Come on, put your hands together and give me some praise. Come on, put your hands together and give us some praise. For this we are Thank you. 
to do something that may require protection, but I think I need to do it anyway. You see, my responsibility, for the most part, is to envision how a service will go. But I've been blessed with a very talented staff. So I'm going to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Tan Gates. See, she heads my media department, and she turns my vision into reality. So we want to thank her for the graphics that are on the children. But each child, their hobbies, the toys they like, the colors are all depicted on their hands. <laughs> Even though these are tragic times, I wanted to do something that for just an instant would take your mind away from the tragedy and focus on the beauty of the children. You see, sometimes we grieve, but that's a definition for grief that I like to say. Grief is love with no place to go. So if we take the love that we all have for these children and apply it to other family members, other friends. Their legacy will live on forever. So, God bless you. And with that, I want to pause with a few brief but important observations. You say I'm going to thank you in advance for your cooperation, but my desire is that you remain in your places until the family has been escorted from the sanctuary. Now, I'm asking for all the designated pallbearers to assemble on the west wall, all the pallbearers. Now, Paul Barris, do a count for me. Because at the end of your count, I need to have 20 Paul Barris assembled. So if we don't have enough designated Paul Barris, then I'm going to ask for volunteers. So the Paul Barris, please assemble on the West Wall.
have this cabin right here. This cabin right here. This cabin right here. This cabin right here. This cabin Ha, ha, ha. 